Did the Nothosaurus just kill our chances of receiving a second Camp Cretaceous DLC? Possibly? Hello everyone, and welcome back. As you all know, the Nothosaurus recently got in Jurassic World Evolution 2 with this latest DLC, the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack. But what does this mean for our potential second Camp Cretaceous DLC? The Nothosaurus' inclusion in this last DLC has made me question the possibility of receiving another Camp Cretaceous DLC. But there is still a lot of content that is still missing from Camp Cretaceous and most of the missing species are from Camp Cretaceous. So it is still possible we could be receiving a second Camp Cretaceous DLC down the line. The three missing species from Camp Cretaceous now, of course, as we know, are the Smilodon, the Tarbosaurus, and the Spinoceratops. But there is a fourth missing species that is not from Camp Cretaceous, the Microceratus. That equals four species, and from what we've seen, Frontier likes to keep our DLCs at four species per pack, with the exception of the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. If we are going to receive more Camp Cretaceous content, then there are really two possibilities for this. One of the possibilities is that we could be receiving a sequel to the original Camp Cretaceous DLC, same format. We would get two new species and then a bunch of different skins and variants on top of that, and the two species that I would choose for that would honestly probably be the Tarbosaurus and Spinoceratops as the Smilodon could easily be saved for a Cenozoic DLC and the, and the Microceratus could easily be saved for like a novel DLC. And of course, there's still dozens of different skins that could be added. Little Edie, as we all know, has still not been added and was for some reason excluded from the original Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack, which is honestly why I thought we could be receiving a second Camp Cretaceous DLC somewhere down the line. But of course, there's still dozens of other skins, a Scarred Toro skin, more Dilophosaurus skins, a Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus variant, the Manticorp Raptors, more Monolophosaurus and Ceratosaurus skins. There's honestly a bunch of different skins. If they were to release a second Camp Cretaceous pack that would follow the original format of the first one, I would honestly be really happy with that. But the second option is, of course, getting a Camp Cretaceous expansion. One of the running ideas, we could get a Manticorp expansion, as most of the species that are missing were actually produced and made by Manticorp such as the Smilodon and Spinoceratops. But I do think that they could probably just throw in the Tarbosaurus in there since it did appear in Camp Cretaceous, and honestly, they could just make it like a Camp Cretaceous expansion or something. We could just get three species, but Frontier hasn't done that. One time they did two species, and another time they did four. So honestly, I think they're going to want to stick with that four species limit. But what could be that fourth species? They could throw in the Microceratus. I know that Microceratus has absolutely nothing to do with Manticorp, but as we know Jurassic World Evolution 2 is in an alternate universe, they could make it so Manticorp actually did create a Microceratus and they just threw it in there because Frontier could honestly throw in any species in any expansion. The Morris Intrepidus was thrown in the Dominion Malta expansion even though it never appeared in Malta. So honestly, they could do whatever. They could also give us some species that were cut and or mentioned in Camp Cretaceous. One of these species is actually the woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth fossils actually did appear in Camp Cretaceous Season 1 in Dr. Wu's lab. So it is possible we could be seeing maybe a woolly mammoth a potential Manticorp expansion. Another species that could possibly fill this fourth species slot is the Sarcosuchus. If you guys didn't know, the Sarcosuchus was actually planned to be in Camp Cretaceous Season 4 or 5. And was actually supposed to get its own dedicated scene. And I'm assuming it probably would have been made by Manticorp. So they could make it so where they actually did create this species in that timeline. But of course, we will probably be getting a bunch of new skins as I've mentioned before. Little Edie, a Scarred Toro skin, a Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus variant, and a bunch of different things. Honestly, the thing that excites me the most about a potential Manticorp expansion is honestly the mechanics that this expansion could come with. Now, one of the mechanics would be a map with multiple biomes. The Manticorp Island had five biomes. A desert biome, a snowy biome, a redwood biome, a swamp biome, and a jungle biome. Splitting up this map in between five different sections would honestly be amazing, and this would be the perfect time to introduce all foliage and for all maps, and this would be the perfect way to integrate this. We could just get one map, or we could receive a second map as well, possibly Isla Nublar 2016 or an Isla Sorna 2016. The most exciting mechanics, in my opinion, would be the technology that we saw in Camp Cretaceous Season 4 and 5. Now, although the Brads and Brad Axes are hated by the Jurassic World community, honestly, for a game mechanic, they're pretty cool. The Brads and Brad Xs, they could replace the ACU, the Ranger teams, and the mobile vet units. We could also use the drones that they utilize to serve as like some sort of temporary fences, as we know that they did do this to get Pierce and Big E.D. to fight in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. In my opinion, the most exciting part could be the control chips. As a game mechanic, this would be amazing. Maybe we could actually take control of our dinosaurs, and this would allow us to play Jurassic World Evolution 2 in a brand new way. 
maybe we could take control of like i don't know the spinosaurus and be forced to go kill off some dinosaurs similar to how we used dinosaurs to kill off the spino raptor in jurassic world evolution one this honestly has a lot of potential and would drastically improve jurassic world evolution 2's replayability and of course they could give us some brand new attractions and decorations that we saw in camp cretaceous and in camp cretaceous hinted adventure animatronic gates new building sets for everything honestly be amazing i do still hope that we could possibly see a manic corp expansion at some point during jurassic world evolution 2's lifetime now as the jurassic world dominion biostan and malta expansions have already come out Honestly, I think that a Manticorp expansion has, in my opinion, the highest probability to occur in December. This is honestly the next logical step to take after we've already covered the movie. Let's start covering the show as well. So honestly, I'm going to place my bets on a potential Manticorp expansion for December. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think we still could be receiving a second Camp Cretaceous DLC added to Jurassic World Evolution 2? Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you think I deserve it, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. But that's it for me. And I will see you guys next time.